UT Martin volleyball coach Jacqueline Wilson in 10th season with the Skyhawks. Uh, coach, your team won the regular season title in 2022, but ended up missing the tournament a, a, a season ago. How, how does that, uh, you know, motivate your team to kind of get back on, on top for the 2024 year? Yeah, I know. I know personally, I'm extremely motivated. I know the girls in the locker room um, were really disappointed the way last season went and how we fell short. And I don't want to see that happen again. So I, you know, I think it was pretty simple. We got comfortable and um, it showed. Coach, you've had them in the gym for just a, a few days now, but obviously you had a chance to work with them in the spring and kind of come forward. What, what about this team do you, do you like the most? And, and kind of tell us about some of the, the strengths that they have. Yeah, um, I'm really still getting to know these girls. We have a lot of new players. Um, we lost four off of the indoor roster last year, and I have two, 10 new indoor players since last fall. Um, so it's, um, it's really exciting. It's really fresh in our gym right now. The energy is great. Um, it, it seems like we have potential to have great chemistry. Um, and, and everybody's working really hard. Now, I think this time of year, every gym, everybody should be working really hard. You know, they're trying to earn playing time. They're trying to earn respect to their peers, their teammates, you know, trying to impress the coaching staff. And, um, so I, I expect that every, every season, but it feels different this year. It does. The energy feels, like I said, really fresh, really exciting. Um, it just, I, I think these girls are ready to put their heads down and work. And, um, I, you know, we had some obstacles last year, uh, a little bit of personnel. And um, I think that, you know, these girls are ready to kind of be selfless teammates and, um, all work for the same goal. So now um, you mentioned uh, a, a lot of the newcomers, and I, I believe you have a five freshmen on on the squad. How tough is it, or I, you know, what is kind of the demand on the incoming freshmen? You know, pretty much two months ago they're still in high school, and and you know, two months later you're asking them to come in and compete at the Division One level, and and <laughs> there's a little bit of a learning curve, but. You know, what are some of the things that that you look at them and try and push on to them? Yeah, it definitely is. This time of year is always really, really hard um, on the freshmen. And, and we talk to them about that on through the recruiting process. We talk to their parents a little bit about that. Um, you know, it's their first time being away from home. You're physically and mentally being challenged. And um, it gets really hard. You know, and I don't want to say you break them and that's never the goal, but, you know, you break them down a little bit and um, they come out so much stronger once they get through it. And we always you can see every year you can see who it's their first time going through this, and, you know, and then you're more experienced of, you know, you just you just got to get through these first couple of weeks. Um, it's hard, but, you know, that that's, you know, our job as coaches is, you know, we want to challenge them right now. We want to put them in situations that are harder than, you know, when we get on the, on the court ready to compete. Um, but the freshmen, it's definitely, I will credit this freshman class. We have five true freshmen. Uh, we have um, Dylan Salser, who is a red shirt freshman um, as well. So six, you know, freshmen indoor right now. And um, their volleyball IQ is higher than any freshman class volleyball IQ we've ever had. And, um, so I credit them to that. I credit their club coaches and, and high school to helping them prepare for this level. And um, I think we're going to, we're young, but I think you're going to see a lot of freshmen making an immediate impact and being on the court. Well, coach, uh, talking about uh, some of the players that are going to make an impact, tell us about some of your key players to watch this season, uh, some of your returners, your transfers, and, and definitely some of the newcomers. Yeah, I think we're bringing a little bit more size to the table this year, just across the board. Um, like I said, we we lost, you know, four. I think we have ten new, so we have a little bit more depth in the gym, except in one position. And I'll hit on that a little bit. Um, we're still competing for, you know, kind of who's going to be in which role, and um, it, it. So that makes this time of year really exciting and challenging for the girls. 
But, um, you know, Dylan Mott, who's returning, she's, you know, for a fifth year. And um, I think she looks better than she has has ever looked. And, you know, she had a really strong junior season um, two, two seasons ago, the year we won. And a little bit – a little bit down last year, but we also had put her um, on the outside a little bit. And, you know, she has a lot of versatility. So we were lucky for that. But also, um, I think she was really motivated this summer to come in for her last season um, better than ever. I've been extremely impressed um, all around. She's just solid. She's a great leader for us. Um, and she's really set the tone defensively in our gym. So, you know, I, I feel pretty confident she's going to be in that libero role for us this year. And um, I think extremely solid there. A uh, setting, we've got, you know, we had an app state transfer in the spring, um, Katie. And, you know, I think she's a great, great team player. Um, she brings a lot of fire to the court, a lot of great energy um, and very, very high volleyball IQ. So, um, you know, anywhere where she might lack physically, I think um, she makes up for it with her IQ, her court awareness, um, and I, she works like a dog. She has worked, I mean, since we got her in the spring, she has just just hammered it, and it shows. Um, and I know all summer she was in the gym. So I think she's definitely going to be seeing the floor in that role um haven't decided yet exactly what type of offense we're going to be running whether it's a 5-1 or a 6-2 we have um three other setters right now that are going to be competing for some time there and um looking really good one of our our freshmen ella um goodness probably one of the most athletic kids in our gym her, her vertical uh, you know she's almost to our armpits on a block she's probably the fastest in the gym. She just needs a little fine tuning on, you know, some, some skills that she's just not maybe mastered or been trained, you know, at this level, but quick learner, very coachable. And I, I see her being on the floor some and competing for time. Uh, we're a little short depth in the middle. Uh, we've got Mia Sands and, and Kristen Phillips for, in the middle for us. Um, unfortunately we had a middle transfer in, in the spring who will be medically redshirted this season. Um, so we were already a little shorthanded in the middle. We have started training, um, Addie Vaughn who set for us in the past. Um, she's playing some on the right side for us this year, but we are also training her in the middle and she's doing a great job, uh, handling that anything for the team is kind of her mentality right now, if that's what the team needs. And, and I have a lot of confidence that she can get the job done there. But so we have those three. Um, and then we've got, you know, Jenna on the outside, Jenna Valet, who, Valley, who came in and uh, played a good bit last season. But I think one season um, at the Division One level after coming from a JUCO uh, has really fine tuned her. I'll be honest, I think it, she was really, really challenged in the sand in the spring. And I think it really, grew her game and her mental game. And um, I've been really happy all around with what I'm seeing by, from her in the gym. And I think she's going to make a big impact. Um, Kayla Bryant will be competing in some on the outside as well. And then we have a freshman, um, Kylie, who brings us great size on the outside. And I have been extremely impressed with her in the gym. I, I really think um, – it's, it's hard to tell until you face, an, you know, someone other than your own team. You always look great in your own gym. But um, I think we're going to see really great things from her this year and throughout her career. Trying you talk about – uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I, I, you know, <laughs> I feel like I could talk about all of them, but I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you talk about, uh, you know, being, you know, how they look uh, in the gym and you want to see them face uh, somebody else. Well, taking a look at your non, uh, your non-conference schedule, it's, it's, it's a pretty strong uh, uh, slate here. Great competition. You have teams like Alabama, Southern Illinois, Missouri's on your, on your schedule. Uh, talk about uh, going about creating this and, and helping how this helps you go into conference play. Yeah, I definitely a tough preseason schedule. Um, I, 
I have always felt very strongly about playing the toughest competition we can to help prepare us for conference. Uh, I do think there have been seasons that I have loaded us up and it has had a little bit of the reverse effect um, where I felt like we are a little bit beat down going into conference and not having the confidence that we need. So you run that risk, you know, when you, when you play some of the bigger schools. Uh, but I, I really think, you know, last year we didn't have any freshmen indoor and um, just with a lot of new girls, a lot of young, um, excited talent, it, you know, I don't think they've had time to create that, that fear and that um, they're just going to go play and they're going to go compete. And we we're talking a lot about, you know, creating confidence and it's not a false sense of confidence. It's, you know, training and, and having confidence in the skills, your skills and confidence in our team and our abilities. And um, I think, you know, it's early, it's really early, but I, I think we're a totally different team this year. And I think we're going to respond really well from the challenges in the preseason that are going to help prepare us for conference. Okay. Well, Coach, uh, we, we hate to throw it right on top of you, but I'm going to ask you one thing. What is the one thing that uh, your team needs to to uh, kind of uh, grab that uh, conference title this year? Goodness, I, 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 we, we're ready to get back to the top. We're ready to be there. Um, it was a really hard, hard pill to swallow last year, not only not competing for a championship, but not making the tournament. Um, so I I am hungry. Uh, what's the one thing? Gosh. You know, I'm going to go out, go a little, you know, I feel there's a lot of tactical things that I could hit on, but I'm, I'm going to go with chemistry. I think um, we have the ability to have a really, really strong chemistry this year. And I think um, there's our, there's a lot of talent in our locker room right now. Um, so I don't see that, that being the issue. I think it's going to be having a really strong, strong um, chemistry top to bottom. And I think, you know, teams, when they have chemistry, I, it doesn't matter if they're having an off night. It doesn't matter if they don't have top to bottom, the best talent, um, you got to have talent, but if, you know, I, I think they're really, really hard to beat. And, um, you know, I think we have an opportunity to have that this year. Head coach Jacqueline Wilson from UT Martin. Coach, we definitely appreciate your time and uh, want to wish you the best of luck on the upcoming season. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate your time.